Music and music industry. Music industry, okay. Because it's not enough just to do the music, you've got to know the business, right? Yes, ma'am. This uh, degree it involves law, business, um, marketing, production, everything. <laughs> when you were a kid and you started out, and I'm not leaving Haley out of this, when y'all were kids and started out with your choreographed dancing and, and all the songs that you used to do, did you ever think you would like be in the business? Well, whenever I was choreographing our dances, I didn't really think about that. I honestly thought I'd be a dancer, but uh, as I got more into music, I realized that's what I wanted to do. So. Well, as Hannah now, Hannah's already always kind of taken the lead in things, but that might not be the way it is always, because I see Haley really coming forward, y'all. Um, so tell us a little bit about the instruments that you play and your portion in writing songs with your sister. Okay, so I play trumpet and mellophone, which is French horn also, and my band at school. I play bass, guitar, uh, I tweak at piano, and then drums is kind of something I'm working on, but yeah. Oh, and ukulele. <laughs> Would you call that a what? Uh, ukulele. My ukulele or my... Uh, the you well is it just a little guitar? What was that you had in the studio? Oh, um, my little guitar. Oh my. Oh, I also have a bass. But my little guitar uh, was my first guitar I ever got, and I called it. I call it Willie Nelson because I write my songs and everything. Yeah, it's a baby big Taylor guitar, and I call it Willie Nelson because I write my songs and everything with it. But uh, and who got you started playing the bass? Roger. <laughs> He uh, he saw me counting and he goes like, I'm gonna teach you to play bass. <laughs> <laughs> he gave you a vehicle for this trip that you are on musically. Okay, so songwriting. So come closer if you will. Songwriting. So how do you do it? When do you do it? Or maybe the question is, when do you not do it? Um. Yeah. That's that's kind of a, a question, isn't it? We we'll write songs anywhere. We've done it in the car, on the way to performances. Done it in our room. We've actually written songs on the bathroom floor. We've, we're in the kitchen, everywhere. Speaking of the bathroom floor, uh, where's Nana? She's in here. Oh crud. Okay, well she doesn't know this. I was I was up last night writing a new song for us, which uh, we are having our road on uh, road again tour, and that is in June the the 28th. She knows it. July 28th, <laughs> but um, yeah, I do, we do write most of our songs all the time in our free time, and I'm starting to write song music for movies and stuff like that, so that's pretty cool, yeah. So, about how many songs have y'all written? A uh, hundred? Well, yeah, well, some of them are good, some of them aren't good, but yeah. <laughs> Just have written, even if it's a verse or a, or a melody. Oh yeah, I have no idea. A lot. a lot, yeah. Okay, so a recording is a recording in the works. Yeah. We're working on that. Yeah, we're working on getting an EP done. We're we're getting them all together and stuff. And I'm actually doing some of it on my own. So, yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Well, now the Road Ahead tour. So, is it a tour or is it a performance in Greenville? Uh, it is the Road Ahead tour. Is um, it's a concert. It's kind of an introduction to our tour that's going to be coming up in the fall, um, and it's kind of the introduction. It's at the Greenville Municipal Auditorium on July 28th. So y'all can actually, yeah, yeah. There's going to be a list, there's going to be several other bands there. Um, like, yeah, Eric is going to be there. Yeah, he's going to be in our band. So is this gal back here. Yep. And there's going to be, um, Josh Davis will also be there. We're going to be seeing some duets with him. He's going to do his Elvis act. And Landry and Company, yeah, I was trying to look them. Landry and Company, they're going to be there also. It's going to be awesome. Roger will be there. Yeah, Roger is also going to be playing for us. And then uh, this guy named Josh Knight, y'all know who he is. He's going to be our lead guitarist. But yeah, y'all can come and y'all can order your tickets. Oh yeah, little Jack is gonna be there and play the fiddle. Well, 
We don't want to talk too long because we're here to do music, but I do want to know how are y'all going to stay together when you're in college and she's in high school in Winsboro? A lot of FaceTime. A lot of FaceTime, and then <laughs> on weekends she'll be coming and we'll be doing shows and stuff like that. And come home anyways. It won't be as frequent, but we're still gonna make it work. It's temporary. It's just a temporary separation. Yes. <laughs> okay, so are we gonna give away? It's a song called Never Stop. Um, we'll do it off the All right, um, I guess we'll play that for you right now after she's done with her raffles. We'll show you that song, so. Okay, well, as she said, this song never stops. She kind of wrote that for us, I guess, um, because she got the she got the blues, the college-bound blues, and so she uh, kind of got sad and wrote the song for us. It's not a sad song, but it's called Never Stop. Oh uh -huh. 